best in the Bay Area. This is the 10 o'clock news on Channel 2, the number one primetime newscast in the country. And I'm Dennis Richmond, patrol car after patrol car. This is myurbanreport.com. I'm a Monty Channel. And I just wanted to take a moment to thank all of you who've been watching my podcast and checking out my blog. And, you know, it's kind of an experiment, a, a process, a work in progress as it goes. But I wanted to take a moment to, to share some thoughts and, and uh, do this video diary style entry um, to thank some of the pioneers who helped uh, pave the way for, for broadcasters like myself. Um, I'm from the Bay Area, the San Francisco Bay Area, East Palo Alto, California. Happens every day. <laughs> Shit, somebody got to get shot. Uh, anyone from the Bay Area knows about PA. Some of you folks around the country don't because, you know, we think about Oakland, San Francisco, San Jose. So East Palo Alto is like a teardrop. Um, but in the early 90s, um, East Palo Alto got its fair share of exposure. A gang war that erupted in the streets of East Palo Alto forced police there to put out a call for help tonight after a night of violence last night that would have stunned cities many times its size. And as a young person growing up, uh, watching some of the news coverage, I, of course, tuned into KTVU. If people don't have anything to do, this is the only way of making money, only way of surviving. The factions aren't gangs as we know them, but rival groups involved in selling drugs on East Palo Alto streets. And uh, saw all the stories that were reported on my city. East Palo Alto is the poorest city in San Mateo County. But despite this reputation as a high crime city, and I think that deep down, Dennis and all you other journalists, because I want to thank all you, you over there as well, because you influenced me to take up this field because I saw how you guys did what you did, and it sort of made me wonder, how, how, do, you, how do you do that? Just a block or two away are the mansions of Palo Alto, a reminder to the people of East Palo Alto of what they don't have. What goes into being a journalist? Uh, what goes into sharing and telling stories as well as the live reporting and all of that? Just fascinating me. Atlanta's ordinance is being modeled after a similar one that passed unanimously in Delcom, Louisiana. Terry Scheibel has now entered her second night with no food and no water. You can see wood, insulation. Um, but Dennis, uh, it's very important, you know, the work that we do, I don't have to tell you that. And, um, but if it wasn't for gentlemen like yourself, I probably wouldn't have, have pursued this craft. And it's something that gets in your blood. And I love uh, the media. Um, I take this responsibility very seriously, uh, informing, whether it be on a blog or just through the traditional media. And sometimes the good stories get missed, and sometimes we focus on the negative. But still, it's just good to have folks like yourself who, who sort of uh, were examples in both the community and on the airwaves. And as you walk away, I just want to say much thanks to all that you've done in your career. If people don't have anything to do, this is the only way of making money, only way of surviving. East Palo Alto is the poorest They'll take a high profile, attempt to put a lid on all the violence. But it's a lid many here say won't hold. Give you the raw definition of woke, do it in acronym. Just so you pose as a no, check it, the R stands for...